How's it going, everyone? My name is BQ, and welcome to Toilet Talk. Wait a minute. This isn't Toilet Talk. I'm not in my bathroom. I'm at my desk. So I had some problems trying to record this Toilet Talk episode in my bathroom. Uh, pretty much everything went wrong, and th just everything went wrong, trust me. So, I have to have this Toilet Talk episode at my desk. So does that mean I have to... Poop and pee at my desk. Toilet talks are fantastic. That's why you're here watching this. You know what else is fantastic? Fantastic Beasts. J.K. Rowling's debut movie, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, comes out November the 18th, which is sometime in the future. Now, I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan out there, but I can even admit that this movie does look pretty cool. You got the Harry Potter universe, and you got it in America, so go America, and it's in the 1920s, and who doesn't like the 1920s? Well, I guess probably people that fell in the Great Depression, but besides the point, they're probably not watching this video. So to celebrate the movie, I decided to take the Pottermore quiz to decide what my house is actually is. That made sense. And don't worry, this is a disclaimer, JK Rowling actually came from England to my house in the Midwest to say, yes Nick, you should make this video, I 100% endorse it, it's free publicity, and you're gonna get paid 50% of the revenue that Fantastic Beasts makes in its entire lifespan from your video. Just, be th just thank you, you're doing a public service to the wizarding world and the actual world. And if you couldn't tell, that was sarcasm. So, without further ado, let's take the Pottermore quiz to see which house do I belong into? Dawn or dusk? I'm gonna go with the dawn since I am a morning person. Which would you rather be? Envied? Intimidated? Trusted? Praised? Liked? Or feared? Well, I need those YouTube likes, so like, comment, and subscribe. One of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using self-spelling quill. Is that pretty much autocorrect? Now he has come top of the class in charms, beating you into second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you to one side after his lesson and asks you whether or not your classmates use a forbidden quill. What do you do? Lie and say you don't know anything, but hopefully that someone else tells Pro Professor Litwick the truth. Tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate and resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth, you will. Tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Also, as you are both in the same house, any points he loses will be regained by you for coming first in his place. You would not wait to be asked to tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If you knew that somebody was using a forbidden quill, you would tell the teacher before the exam started. Now, the thing about these quizzes is you gotta pick the first thing that jumps out in front of you that speaks to you. Otherwise, then it won't be a proper quiz. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be accurate. But this one is a moral dilemma, so... I had to think a little bit harder about this one. So I don't think I'd rat out my friends, mostly because I wouldn't care if they were cheating or not. So I'm gonna go with this one. Which of the following would you most like to study? Centaurs, that'd be kinda cool. Goblins, merpeople, ghosts, vampires, werewolves, or trolls. Well, studying centaurs would be pretty rad. And trolls are in the dungeon. You know, thought you ought to know. I'm gonna say mer people. Even though they're pretty scary in the fourth book and they try to drown you by dragging you to the depths of the water, most of them are women? I guess so... women? Four goblets are placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? Foaming frothy silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing ground diamonds. The smooth, thick, richly purple drink that gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plums. Ugh. The golden liquid so bright that it hurts the eye and which makes sunspots dance all around the room. The mysterious black liquid that gleams like ink and gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. Ah, uh, this seems like a drug. I think that's a drug. I already have glasses, so I don't need an update on my prescription on my glasses. And they're constantly getting worse, so I'm gonna try to reserve my eyesight for later. I hate chocolate and fruits together. I don't like those at all. I'm gonna have to go with this one because that one seems the most adequate, I guess. Given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you love, glory, wisdom, or power? You have your standard love potion. Uh, a glory potion, which that can be taken in so many different areas. 
Wisdom Potion just makes you smarter, but exactly for what? It's not very, very specific. Or Power, which that could also be taken for a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna go with Glory just because that sounds pretty cool. If you're attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Uh, to, oh, it's gonna be a bunch of cats, isn't it? Yep, that's a bunch of cats. I don't want to take a cat with me because I hate cats. I re oh, I can take an owl. Oh, owls are cool. And then, a to okay, so I had a thought before I was making this video about frogs and toads. Toads and frogs are kind of gross and weird things. I mean, frogs are, I guess, cute, I suppose, but they're spineless figuratively and literally. They're slimy and dirty, and also, if you hold them, they poop and pee in your hands. So, that's just a recipe for d disaster, in my opinion. I do like snowy owls, but then I feel like I'd be ripping off Harry Potter himself. So I'm gonna go with Barn Owl, because I live in the Midwest, and there are a lot of barns around. So, black or white? Uh, white, I guess? Hufflepuff! Alright, cool, that was the house that I thought I would get. I believe Hufflepuff is for friendship, so... Hufflepuff for life. I am Hufflepuff, which means I believe I am g g good, I guess. And we're freaking badgers. So that is all the time I have for this episode of Toilet Talk, so thank you so much for watching this weird episode of Toilet Talk, not in the bathroom. I know, it was pretty weird. If you watched this Toilet Talk episode, I thank you for taking the time to sift through it. Be sure to check out any of the other videos that I've done, and if you haven't, subscribe already. And go see Fantastic Beasts, because why the freak not? Remember, uh, I was endorsed by J.K. Rowling. He told me to go make this video and that I would get a bunch of ad revenue from this. So, I I'm waiting, J.K. Waiting with my, my watch. My imaginary watch here. So, yep. Uh, she totally, she totally told me to make this video and totally am gonna get a bunch of ad revenue from this. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later.